Hey, what's up guys? It's Mari again, back again with another trade video. Uh, now, I did want to quickly mention, I did not day trade yesterday uh, because of the presidential election and, and what was happening, but I did um, buy stock in my long-term portfolio. I felt that because of the volatility, um, day trading was just way too risky. There's just too much volatility, too many movement. And I felt like, hey, just buying in the right levels for a long-term move is, uh, I think, a better, a better decision. So that's what I did. Uh, now, but I did day trade today. I felt like there were some opportunities uh, in the low-hanging fruit, uh, second-day continuation plays. And I did do that on United Healthcare and also on Zoom. Uh, and I, yesterday, actually, the whole healthcare industry, the sector, got bought out. I mean, there was a huge volume. Uh, there was power gappers in uh, United Healthcare, and there was some another biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Uh, there, so there's some definitely volume. I actually did invest in United Healthcare as well in my long-term account. And I also bought a Zoom. So I'm going to talk about those because I didn't get a chance to day trade those today. Uh, so I'm going to go over them today and cover them. So don't forget to uh, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you find some value. Uh, let me share my screen, let's get started. All right, let me share my screen so we get started. Okay, let's get started. So what was happening yesterday? Now, I wanna quickly go over the uh, S&P 500. So Tuesday, that was the election. You know, we did see a bounce, we did see some volume coming in, uh, but again, it was just too close to see what was gonna happen, too close to call or anything like that. Uh, but yesterday, you know, just looking at how, um, you know, Biden looked and also how the, um, I guess you could say the, um, the Congress and the Senate, I mean, the House of Representatives and the Senate, uh, how it was turning out. So it looks like the Senate is going to take control of the, uh, I mean, the, 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 the Republicans are going to take control of the Senate and the Democrats are going to take control of the House. So in a way, I felt like the market liked that because they felt that the full effect of a Biden tax plan was not going to take into effect. So, um, so I'm sure there's going to be some tax increases if he takes the office, but I don't think, we don't think that it's going to be, I don't think personally it's going to be as, 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 as crazy as what some people were thinking. So just because again, um, the uh, Democratic Party did not take full control of everything. They did not take full control of the, uh, the, the Senate or the House. They, uh, you know, so, so there's definitely going to be some balance of power. So, uh, that is good overall for the for the market, you know. So uh, today, um, what well, actually um, today, what I was looking at is, uh, especially in the healthcare industry, if you notice uh, here, uh, United Healthcare had a huge a gap up on on this uh, election news, and and huge volume. Look at that volume, man! This insane amount of volume, uh, so much so that I, you know, I was like, dude, I think I'm gonna get into this sector because it looks like big and money's coming in and moving in, you know? So I got in uh, on that on that move. And today I was actually looking for a low hanging fruit uh, long, you know, uh, to buy it in a second day continuation. So let me explain to you, you know, what was, I, what was I looking for? So for the first thing, of course, you know, I really liked there was a huge volume the day before. It broke out of the range to all time highs, uh, you know, 52 week highs. So that is very, very bullish, especially on humongous volume like this, you know? So I, I really like that. And again, it's all based on what's happening with the elections. Um, I, I believe that because of how the, the Senate, how the uh, Republicans to control the Senate and the Democrats uh, to, to cap control the House, so there's some balance of power, so no party controls everything. Um, I guess investors felt that that was a good thing for overall the health care. They felt that there was not going to be any harsh legislation to kind of hurt that in that sector. So, um, so I guess overall it's good news. So today, you know, I, well, yesterday I noticed it was trending all day in a strong volume. So today I was looking for a second continuation of that move. Um, I always like to, my first entry to get in, in the pivot level. And that's exactly pretty much what I did. I did get in the pivot level um, and it started to kind of bounce a little bit. And it kind of made a, a lower, a, a higher low here. And actually, this would have been a perfect spot to add into my winner on confirmation. Uh, but I was busy actually buying more stock in my long-term portfolio that I missed it. But this would have been a great ad for a confirmation move. Uh, but it's all good, you know. Uh, it did trend really nicely. I took some profits on the uh, opening uh, line and took some more profits here uh, at the... Uh, I guess you could say next resistance level on the, on the intraday chart. 
and I did take, take some more profits here on the uh, yesterday's uh, previous day high, you know, yesterday's high, I guess you could say. So, and I guess stopped out in the last, in the rest right here. So that was pretty much it with that trade, you know, simple. Um, the continuation of that, of yesterday's move. It was a really, really nice move. Uh, the only thing I want to add is I did have the opportunity to add to my winner to have even more, more of a game. But again, it's all good. I'm happy with it. I made some money and, and let's call it that, you know. So next trade, uh, Zoom. So Zoom, I actually day traded it, uh, I believe on Tuesday um, on this, on this, on this TAS of 50 and it actually made a move. So I was day trading here, I took a loss, but I was actually expecting a move end of day. And guess what? It still made the move, but it actually gapped up the next day big. So um, that's, that's the thing about uh, you know, day trading is that sometimes the move may take a while and might happen overnight. Um, and that's the reason why you wanna be both either a swing trader or a long-term investor so you could take advantage of the moves. So I like to be a more of a long-term investor, long-term in position type of trader where I hold uh, stocks for a longer period, but I do take profits around key levels and I buy back again when it pulls back under key levels. So I like to do that. And I also like to day trade some, uh, you know, some plays that they're high, high probability of success. So I, I was looking for a first green day here on Tuesday, but again, it didn't happen. I took a little loss there. It bounced back. It finally went green. It stayed green. So yesterday was, uh, I guess you could say, the actual first green day. And today was going to be a continuation of that. So my initial starter, I was looking for a, a pull, pullback to, to, um, to the pivot level, but I didn't. It kind of bounced around here at previous, day, uh, previous day's close, which is this line right here. Um, it hit this uh, R1 pivot level. It bounced back again. And it held this, this line. So I, what I was thinking here was like, okay, so it created a higher high. Uh, let me get in. Let me get in. You know, hopefully we get a break of, of this uh, of this 9490 level, maybe continuation, maybe test of 500, if not higher, you know, if not higher. But, you know, it didn't. It didn't really move. It kind of just stayed very, very uh, complacent. Uh, it kind of literally just stayed flat. And this, this literally reminded me of Tuesday, you know, because I was literally looking for the similar strategy on Tuesday and it got me, you know, it, it got me too. So if you look, look at Tuesday, I was looking for the same thing and it got me. So what I'm starting to notice now is that it looks like after zombie hours, we don't have any more moves, you know, um, you know, looking at uh, uh, United Hair Click and United Hair uh, Healthcare, I actually made a move before zombie hours. So before 9.30. So that trade actually happened literally at the, almost at the open and it literally bounced off. And by the end of, by the end of zombie hour, it started to reverse. So that's what I'm catching. Uh, you know, so I feel like the market now is like, you know, take the first good high probability trade in the first hour of the trading day. After that, just leave, get out. Because again, even though it looks like uh, Biden uh, may win as a high probability win, again, we still have to wait on votes. So I could still see some uh, investors not committing to, uh, you know, keep buying more, you know, um, after the open or selling into the open. So the, the buying comes to, starts to kind of die down. So that's what I've, I've noticed. So uh, moving forward, uh, you know, if, if there's no move, even though there's like a nice, you know, uh, double bottom here with opportunity to kind of you know, spike over here. I'm just going to not even trade, especially if it's after zombie hours, because, you know, it feels like to me that the volume just starts to die, die down after that. So I'm just going to focus the first hour of the day, uh, similar to what I did with uh, United Healthcare, and, and just take advantage of that move. So I did take a loss on, on Zoom, uh, but again, nothing above my, my risk. So it was a small loss compared to a bigger win that I had on United Healthcare. So I had, did have a green day today, so I'm happy with that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys will learn something from this video. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, feel free to ask them in the YouTube comments. Again, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel if you uh, find some value. I'll see you guys the next time. Have a good one, guys. Take care.